either we are in online business or offline business or dealing with both we must be maintaining sales records in hard copy or any type of software in today's video we will see how to create sales tracker in excel hi my name is vijay and you are watching office monk let's start the video without any delays before creating the new format let's see how it works this is a sales tracker which i have created in advance on the top we can see bar graph and just after that we can see pie chart in bar graph we can see product profit per item and in pie chart we can see income percentage per item below that we will do our entries on the extreme left hand side we have got our items in case you want to insert item codes you can just after items we have got cost per items sales per item and then percentage markup on what percent you are selling your products and this will be calculated on basis of cost per item and sales per item the parts which are highlighted in gray are fully formulated on the top we can see total and in extreme right hand side we can see total income let's start creating a new format now i have inserted a new sheet we'll take column a closer we'll click on b6 this will be items cost per item we'll adjust the column size we'll drag this we'll adjust the column size this will be sales per item percent markup we'll select the whole sheet we'll go to home and we'll wrap the text total sold we'll press alt and we'll hit enter bracket open quantity bracket close total revenue shipping charges we'll adjust the column size we'll go to formula bar we'll press alt and we'll hit enter bracket open per item bracket close we'll drag this to right we'll adjust the column size this will be shipping cost profit per item we'll adjust the column size we'll press alt and we'll hit enter bracket open including shipping bracket close we'll come to right hand side returns whenever we are selling any product there are chances that product might be returned so over here we will do entry of all those products which will be returned and this will be total income we'll come to left hand side we'll click on items we'll press shift control right arrow key we'll insert borders we'll put some color over here we'll change the font color we'll increase column size of items we'll put some random names over here item 1 enter we'll drag it down we'll keep till item 10 we'll click on items we'll press shift control down arrow key right arrow key and we'll insert borders cost per item i'll take some random figure and to take random figures i'll use rand between plus or equal to rand between bracket open bottom bottom figure i'll take as 99 comma top top figure i'll take as 200 we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll align this in center we'll drag it down we'll copy all the figures control c or command c and we'll paste as values paste special values in this way our function of rand between will be removed sales per item over here also i'll take some random figures plus or equal to rand between bracket open bottom bottom figure i'll take as 300 comma top figure i'll take as 700 we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll align this in center we'll drag it down we'll copy all the figures control c or command c and we'll paste here as values paste special values percent markup this will be formulated we will select the whole column we'll go to home we'll come in the center and we'll click on percent sign now i'll click just under the heading and we'll put my formula and the formula will be plus or equal to sales per item minus cost per item enter and we got 21800% because our formula is incomplete we'll double click on the figure we'll take this in bracket divided by cost per item enter and we got 156% so our formula is sales per item minus cost per item divided by cost per item we'll drag this down what will happen if i'll delete 
crossed four items from here i got div error we will undo this we will click on very first percent markup we will go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error if error bracket open will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket we'll hit enter now i'll drag it down let's delete some figures and see what result we are going to get we haven't got any error i'll undo this we'll highlight percent markup in gray color because this will be formulated total quantity sold i'll take some random figures over here and to take random figures i'll use rand between plus or equal to rand between bracket open bottom figure i'll take as 150 top figure i'll take as 800 we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll align this in center we'll drag it down we'll copy all the figures control c or command c and we'll paste here as values paste special values total revenue this will be formulated and the formula will be plus or equal to sales per item into quantity sold enter we'll align this in center we'll drag it down we'll highlight the cells shipping charges per item shipping cost per item i'll take some random figures over here so i've taken random figures in both the places we'll come to right hand side Profit per item including shipping and the formula will be plus or equal to will come to left hand side. We will click on cost per item into percent markup. We will take this in bracket. We will come to the end plus shipping charges minus shipping cost and I will hit enter. We will align this in center. You might be thinking that shipping charges and shipping cost is the same thing. But there is a difference. Shipping charges are the charges which we take from the customers or clients. And shipping cost is the cost which is involved to ship any item. Over here also I will insert the formula or function of if error. We will go to formula bar. If error bracket open. We will come to the end. Comma double inverted comma twice for blank. We will close the bracket and we will hit enter. We will drag it down. Now I'll come to right hand side, returns, I'll take some random figure over here, total income, I'll increase the column size, we'll align this in center, the formula will be plus or equal to total quantity sold minus returns, we'll take this in bracket into profit per item plus bracket open returns into shipping cost per item we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got our total income but before dragging this down i'll insert the criteria of if error we'll double click on my income we'll come in the beginning of formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error if error bracket open we'll come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now I'll drag this down. We'll come to left hand side. We'll take row number 5 closer. We'll increase size of row number 4. This will be total. We'll click on top of total revenue. Formula will be plus or equal to sum bracket open. We'll select from top to bottom. My last cell reference is G16. I'll remove 16 from here and we'll do it 200. In this way, my cell reference got increased. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll come to right hand side. We'll copy the formula, control C or command C and we'll paste over here. Control V or command V. We'll paste in total income also. Control V or command V. Now I'll come to left hand side. We'll click on total. We'll press shift control right arrow key. We'll go to home and we'll change the cell color. We'll insert outside border. We'll come to right, we'll insert border over here and in returns also. Perfect. Now I'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll come to left, we'll increase size of row number 3. We'll click on row number 2 means B2 and we'll select till end. We'll go to home, 
and we'll merge this together. We'll change the font color. We'll make it bold. We'll change the font style. I'll keep the font style as Arial Black. We'll increase row size. This will be online sales tracker or offline sales tracker. Whatever you want to put, you can. In case you want to make it monthly, you can. We'll increase the font size. Now we will insert our bar chart as well as pie chart. Analyzing data through charts gives us better understanding. Only reason we are creating bar and pie charts. We'll select all the items from top to bottom. We'll press control. In case you are using MacBook, you'll have to press command. After selecting items, I'll select profit per item, including shipping. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll leave it selected. We'll go to insert. In the center, we get the option to insert our bar chart as well as pie chart. Over here, we have got recommendation. Let's click over here and see what recommendation we are going to get. Over here, we have got few recommendation. In case you want to insert these, you can. In case you want to select manually, you'll have to click over here and just select the desired bar chart. Our bar chart got inserted. We will resize this. We'll double click on the bar chart. On the right hand side, we will be able to see format chart area. We'll click in the center shadow and we'll give it a blue shadow. We'll go on top. We can see chart design and format. I'll click on format and we'll give it a outline. We'll click over here once again, weight and I'll select a desired weight. Now I'll close this chart title. Title will be product profit per item. We'll double click on the heading format chart title. We'll click in the center and we'll give it a blue shadow. Now we will close this. We'll click on the grid lines and we'll delete this. We'll delete this also. In case you want to change the style or chart design, just go to chart design. On extreme left hand side, you'll get the option of quick layouts. Just select the desired layouts from here. In case you want to change the color, it can be done. We'll delete series one from here. We'll delete this and we'll delete the grid lines also. In case you want to change the color of bars, just click on the bars, go to format, come in the center and click on shape fill. If I select green color from here, bar of item number 10 got highlighted in green. I'll undo this. We'll increase size of row number three little bit more. We'll take our bar chart little bit down. Now I'll select all my items from top to bottom. We'll click on first item. We'll press shift control down arrow key. Now I'll press control or command and we'll select my total income. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll go on top. We'll go to insert. We'll click on pie chart and we'll select the desired pie. We'll resize this. We'll take this over here. Chart title. It will be income percent per item. We'll go to chart design tab. We'll come to quick layout and we'll select a desired layout. In case you want to change the color, you can. We'll go to chart design once again, add chart element. We'll click on drop down, legend, and we'll align the legends in right or left side. We'll increase the size of both the graphs. We'll double click on the graph. We'll go to format chart area. We'll come in the center and we'll give it a shadow, blue shadow. On pie chart also, I'll give it a shadow. We'll close this. We'll make row size little bit bigger. We'll click on bar chart. We'll go to format. We'll come in the center. Weight three points. We'll give it outline. Over here also, I'll give it outline. We'll click on drop down. Weight. We'll give it one point. Over here also, I'll give it one point. Perfect. And our format is ready now. I'll provide the link of file in description box in case you want to download, you can. But the download option is only for channel members. You can join the channel membership to download the file. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye-bye.